Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing this purplish pink cut crease look with black lips. If you are interested, then please keep on watching. I'm starting off by priming my face with this Beauty UK primer. And after that, I'm using Revlon Color Stay foundation. It's um normal to dry skin and it's the ivory color i'm using my beauty blender just to blend the foundation out uh, these beauty blenders are from h&m and actually they're very good and you get like i think it's like seven euros and you get three different shaped beauty blenders in the package Next I'm taking this uh, Colourpop No Filter Concealer in a fair 02 shade. It's like the lightest one after the white one. I'm placing it under my eyes, side of my nose, on my nose, chin and forehead and blending it out with this H&M uh, Beauty Blender. I just bought these concealers and uh, I really liked it after this one day. It was my first day of using it and it did work very well. Next I'm taking this uh, WV7 contour stick. I think the name is like a war paint cosmetics on this brand. Taking the contour side. I think this is color fair and using it sides of my nose, not dragging it up and just blending it out with this beauty blender. I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Powder just to powder my under eyes and my eyelids. I have quite dry skin so I'm just not gonna let it bake and just swiping them right away out. Next I'm taking this Miss Lynn Peach Please Bronzing and Contouring, contouring Powder uh, in shade Holiday, Holiday Hooray 51. I'm gonna just bronze my cheeks, my chin and my forehead. So probably, as you can notice, I have a wig on but it's really bad on me because I placed it and the glue gets stuck on it and now it's like a little bit too high and I tried to use like black paints and black eyeshadows just to paint my own hair what we're showing and then this happens yeah just gonna swipe it off I'm taking this dear skin nude tan light uh, two shade two um, bronzing powder and because the other one is quite dark so I'm just gonna use this so there would not be like harsh lines and uh, taking a little bit smaller brush just to contour my nose a little bit on the sides After the nose contour, I'm taking again this LA Girl powder just to carve my cheekbones. Um, I don't let it sit there either. I just feel like because the bronzer is quite dark and if I bake it and uh, let it like become whiter, the line there is just too harsh. So. I'm not gonna let it sit, I'm just gonna swap it out and using the powder also to powder my forehead and my nose. After that I'm taking this uh, NYX setting spray, uh, matte finish, just to spray 
my face with it and uh, taking this beauty blender to press the press it on my skin so my skin would not be so dry I'm taking this nude plus palette from PH cosmetics I'm using two of them colors they are very dark in this palette all the colors so I'm gonna dip it and then blend it a little bit on my hand taking out of some of the stuff and then I'm blending it on my skin so it wouldn't be that dark even though it's still quite dark now moving on to the eyes I'm starting off by the douche by Juvia's Place palette taking this custard shade and I'm pressing it on my lid or on my crease and after that I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit this is actually my first ever uh, makeup video and I really don't know what else I could speak here so just a little awkwardness here but I guess if I start doing this and you guys like it I think I'm just gonna be a better at this maybe like in 100 years later ha. Um, and next I'm taking this uh, cream color in the same palette and uh, placing it on top of the custard and blending it out After I made the another eye, I used the custard a little bit more on the other eye and blended it out. I'm taking my uh, Colourpop fil No Filter Concealer in the shade the white one and I'm um, gonna make the cut crease in this one. Actually I never tried it before so this will be my first time using it um, a little bit using the beauty blender just to get the harsh lines away and uh, later on I'm just gonna use my finger to tap the concealer on my lid after that I'm taking this Colourpop Jelly Matte shadow um, Ventura cold I'm um, placing this top of the concealer that I just used with the same flat brush Uh, next I'm grabbing this Colourpop uh, Super Shock Shadow uh, Ripple named and placing it on top of the Ventura I did a little bit use the NYX setting spray to spray it on my uh, flat brush and uh, I'm pressing this shadow on my lid uh, this very very pretty uh, light purple and it's like uh, reflecting many colors it's really pretty yeah after the ripple shadow I'm taking this jewel palette by Juvia's place um, taking the dark purple and placing it between those two shadows 
uh, using this very small flat brush just to blend it there. Next, I'm taking uh, just a little bit bigger brush, just to blend it the purple a little bit better on the pink one. And after that, I'm taking the shade green on the douche palette and uh, blending them all out with that one. I'm making a cat eye using the BH Liquid Eyeliner, the black one, uh, it's a little bit empty, quite hard to make a line, but I did not have another one, so just gonna try to do it with this one. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm using the dark purple first and after that I'm using this Maybelline Master Kyle uh, liner to line my waterline and then I'm just taking a small brush to blend them both nicely. I'm using the custard shade and just pressing it on the purple and then blending it out. I'm taking this Oh, really nicely I showed this mascara. Yeah, I'm thinking this Maybelline New York Colossal Mascara. Uh, it's my favorite. It's been like, probably like five years my favorite. <laughs> And I went to put my lashes on. Uh, these are from uh, AliExpress, China. But they work well. Um, they in this Lumene um, black eyeliner and lining my lips. And I'm using my Colourpop Ultra Matte. Liquid lipstick in Friday. Uh, my lips are just very dry, um, working in a cold place, so they are just always like cracking up and being like uh, disgusting looking. Cannot help it, and it's sometimes hard to use like some lipsticks when they are just like that. After I did that, I realized that my lips are a little bit like not even the other sides, but that's fine. I'm taking this Carly Bible uh, BH Cosmetics palette and using the highlighter. The lightest one, it's probably only one plus the next one on it that I can use on the highlighters. I'm so pale, so they would just show too much. I'm putting it on my cheeks, a little bit top of my eyebrows, my chin, under my eyebrows, and my cupid's bow, 
and my nose. So here's the finished look. I hope you liked it and uh, please give it a thumbs up and uh, comment down below. And yeah, see you in my next one, maybe. Bye!